I started feeding the homeless in 2011. I've been feeding the homeless since 1997, but I really went hard in 2011. I became homeless because of this. I became homeless because I put a toilet in front of the Towson Courthouse. But I made a promise to my mama. You feel me? I made a promise to my mama. My mama lived out in Las Vegas, Nevada, all right? And that's where I was leaving. I was moving to Las Vegas before all this happened. This deck of cards was an actual used casino. Now, that's my mother's address, Corrine Davis. She died February the 2nd, 2011. She died February the 2nd, 2011. But I made my mama promise that I was going to change my life and be something positive and bring good to the community. All right? So that's my angel. All right? That's my angel. Now, we had word on the street. It's a homeless magazine. We started this in 2000. We started this. All right? But in 2011, um... We started doing the homeless feedings. Right here. Word on the street holds successful homeless barbecue. That's the summer barbecue from 2013. You feel me? These are the people that were involved in the barbecue. This is in black and white. This is something that I put together because I was homeless. This is something that I put together because homelessness means something in Baltimore. This is the homeless community coming together to feed the homeless, to take care of the homeless. You feel me? This is something I created as a promise to my mother. This wasn't for myself. This was for everybody. You feel me? This was about uplifting the community and creating community. You feel me? This is word on the street. Word on the street. Barbecue feeds 700. Dude, we feed so many people, but we don't have no money. We don't have no income. We do this out of our pockets. We do this out of the generosity of others. So I got a, I got a program I came up with, Shorty's Bootleg Barbecue. I'm going to turn my business into a feeding center for homelessness and generate money for homelessness. Call it my Jesus trick. When Jesus fed the multitude, look in the Bible. You'll find it there. When Jesus fed the multitude, I was there. I told him to cut the fish and fry that shit. When Jesus had his last days and did the last supper, I fixed the table. I told him not to invite Judas to the table, but Judas was there anyway. Just can't get rid of no Judases. All right, this is my community activism award from Mayor Kathleen Pugh. Even though I'm homeless and I'm still experiencing homelessness, that doesn't stop my activism in my community. You feel me? That's from 2006. I've been homeless since 2011. It's 2018. I'm ready to find a home. So on September the 29th, 2018, we're going to have a people's barbecue. We're going to kick off a program that's going to bring attention to homelessness and it's going to have solutions to homelessness. I can't save everybody, but the people that want to be saved, the people that want help, I'm getting them ready to provide some service. We're going to put me to work for my community in Baltimore City and Baltimore County. You feel me? I'm going to take my barbecue grill. I'm going to take my truck. I'm going to take everything that I own and we're going to feed the homeless. We're going to feed the homeless across Baltimore City and Baltimore County. And we're going to do it by raising money through my business. I'm going to take everything that I make in my business and turn it over to the homeless population. The more money that I make, the more money I can put back into the homeless community. You feel me? Y'all gave me an award. An award ain't nothing but paper. We need buildings. We need warehouses. We need training facilities. We need more than just a piece of paper from the city. We need a commitment from the city. So like I said, on September the 29th, y'all show up. I won't show out.